Ever. I don't give a Don't do that again. You understand me? So why'd you file the privacy complaint after he called me and apologized? If one more person comes up to me, I'm gonna get my ear clean. Everybody, this is Jason Blaha here, and I know I said I was done with fitness, but today I was sitting at home in Houston, Texas, drinking my morning coffee with my morning bison, and I heard that there's a fitness expo going on in San Diego where some of my internet stalkers might be attending. So I got the FBI to fly me out on a private jet to San Diego so that I could come confront some of these internet stalkers in person and see if I either have to paralyze them, I have to kick them, or I have to go to my vehicle and get my ear 15. So with that being said, let's go to the San Diego Fit Expo. Excuse me, Jen. Can you slow down for a second? <laughs> uh, I don't like your body language. Don't get, get uh oh, you're one of my internet stalkers, aren't you? No, no, no. You were leaving no. comments on my channel no. saying you're gonna punch me in the face by coming to the Fit Expo. So are you gonna punch me? I don't know who you are, man. You know who I am. You commented on my channel. What channel is your channel? Jason Blaha Fitness. Oh, I don't like your body language right now. You're scaring me with your body language. I don't want to get my hair 15, you know, because that's how we do things in Texas. Excuse me. Awesome person. You're, you're one of my internet stalkers, aren't you? Uh, I'm not sure. You said you're going to come to the San Diego Expo wearing an awesome 316 shirt. Oh, oh yeah. Hit me with a stunner. I can't. But it's not a joke, you understand? Uh -huh. Where I live in Texas. Oh, you live? Oh, you're from there? Yeah. If somebody hits you with a stunner, you have to go to your vehicle and get your air for staying. Okay. That's how we take care of business. Okay. So you're not going to hit a stunner on me, are you, Sam? I should, man. Uh, you should? No, I should. You want me to get my air 15 for my vehicle? We don't joke around like that in Texas. I don't appreciate you leaving comments like that on my YouTube page, all right? Can you apologize? I don't know what you're talking about. You said you're gonna wear an awesome 316 shirt yeah. and hit a sooner on me. Well, I'm right here. I don't know who posted that, but it's not me. I don't, I don't talk shit on Facebook to start to begin with. All right, I appreciate the apology, so, son. But I don't know, I, if you wanna call me out, it's on you, but that's not me. I don't like confrontation, son. So, I don't wanna go in my vehicle, get my air 15. Okay. Right, because also, when I throw kicks, I can box squat 500 pounds, so my kicks are deadly. Okay. So I don't want to throw a kick right now. Oh, I, get, I get you. I don't want to get kicked anyway. I want to get stunned. That's actually the only reason I came to the expo, because okay. I saw your comment. I live in Houston, Texas. Yeah, I get I, it. You're from Texas. You flew out here to find somebody that wants no, to do stunner. I, I don't want to eat right. I thought it was you. No, that's not me. It wasn't you. It wasn't me. Okay, so you're somebody else. Okay. <laughs> if you see somebody else wearing that shirt, can you no, come no, tell no, me? No, I'll no. come get my air for steam. All right. And I'll, I'll take care of him, all right? Cool. All right. Yeah, cool, yeah I'm getting one. You too. So, how's it going today, sir? How you doing? So, I'm from Houston, Texas. They didn't let me bring any firearms to the event. They said the guns are at this booth over here. Yes. What do you have? So, uh, deep tissue knots, anywhere it helps uh, relieve oh, muscle. Well, can you not point that deadly weapon at me, sir? I just don't appreciate objects being pointed at me. Yeah, I understand. Do you sell AR 15s? No. What about like rocket launchers? No. It's a percussive massage device. Where are the firearms? Uh, I mean, they're on your muscles, right? Right. But I heard that some of my internet stalkers might be in the sex room. Uh, That's not, why I wanted to protect my seal. No, no, not that I know of. I just sell the percussive massage gun. You don't have any blocks or anything? No. So how do you protect your seal? I, I, uh, I don't know. That's a great question. I'm not very muscular, so. I can't, I can't, I can't find anybody. If you want to put on some more muscle, I recommend eating some ground bison. Okay. With some milk, but that is the problem in California, you know, in Texas. I can come with my Air 15. I'm from Phoenix, so you don't need to tell me twice. I, I agree, yeah. agree You walk around with your Air 15 too, you know how it goes, right? So if you don't like somebody's body language, you just shoot them with your Air 15. Why are you supposed to protect yourself in California? I don't know. Like, what if that guy's one of my internet stalkers? What am I supposed to do? I don't know, I don't know. Punch him in the face or something. Well, my kicks are more powerful. I Probably box kick, yeah. I box squat 500 pounds. There you go. Where I can barrel out. You don't think he's one of my internet soccer stuff? No. No. All right. Well, what was I meeting you said? Nice meeting you. If I ever come out of Phoenix, Absolutely. maybe we can go we'll, around we'll, with we'll it. We'll go shooting out there. Right. <laughs> we'll, we'll go shoot some people with our air thing. Sounds good. Hey! Shane, what is this physical conflict about? Hey! What is this physical conflict about? Why, why, why are you on? 
Why are you on here? come back here with my air for team. Bro, why are you on here? Because they're fist fighting. Why are you on here? Because they're fist fighting. What happened? Why are you on here? Why are these guys fist fighting? This is the event for, man. In Texas, you know, when people fist fight, we go get our air for team. Okay. That's why I, I just got a little, you know, I, I saw that. It's okay. You see this over here? Right. Same thing over there. It's an organized event. Judges, referees. See, they got judges over there. Why are they fist fighting? Well, that's what we do. It's our sport. It's called kickboxing. You don't want me to get my air for team for my vehicle? Nah, you don't and need it. Fist nah, we're good. This is good. See, everybody's happy. Because, you know, I can box squat 500 pounds. I can kick them. I can I stop know. them. Strong, you're probably right. really strong. Right. So I don't need to step in over here. No, no, no. That, that's all I was checking. No, no, man. Yeah, we need you. I'm gonna look for you because you got the Superman <laughs> shirt on. All right. All right. Sure. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to stay out here with you? No, 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 no. We got. We only got one judge. We don't need. We don't need no more judges. I'm the only one here. All right. I'll go get my air from Steam though. Okay. Just, just yeah. in case. If you can stand by. Just in case. All right. You know. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm, the, I'm the Kung Fu Master. Nah, bro. Oh, no. No, I thought oh, the yeah. Kung Fu Master over there, bro. Yeah, I am the Kung Fu. What are you doing? Man, I'm the Kung Fu Master. I'm the Kung Fu Master. Come on, man. Kung Fu. Hey, there's a Kung Fu studio over there. You can't disrespect Kung Fu Master like that. Bro, Kung Fu. Real quick. These guys compete and they, they, they train. I want to compete too. Real quick, to just take me seriously for a second. These guys train for a long time, man, and, and they put a lot of work into what they're doing. I'm taking right? you seriously. No, you're not, brother. Yeah, man. It, it, that's not you cool, can't man. Do that. These guys are mean. working I'm their ass off master. to get ready for that's this fight. Cool. I understand. You gotta understand cool. where I'm coming from. It's not cool. You guys need to rock with me. You want a comfort challenge? I do not respect over there. All right, you're not respecting me either. No, bro. You just walked onto a map while these dudes are fighting. I don't give a fuck about what you have to say. That doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck. Don't do that again. You understand me? No, I'm just man. saying. All right, listen up. If you guys don't stop, we we'll stop all this. I understand. Hey guys, we're good. We're good. Let's get, let's get I was just telling him it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's different where I live in Texas. That's yeah, fine. I know I'm going to Texas next weekend. We're good. We're good. <laughs> all right. Show me your lesson. Just, just. Same size. Nah, you need a lesson though. That's your lesson. That's right? fine, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you're really a kung fu master, cause I'm not calling a Thai boxing master. Come over there. It wouldn't be fair if I beat him. Come on, let's break it up. Come on. What's going on? Come on now, guys. Come on. I saw a fist right fight. Can we step off to the side? I don't know why these people are getting so aggressive. I don't like your body language, son. My body language? Yeah. I don't like your body language either. All right. No, you don't no, want me to get... Let's go talk over here on the side. Let's go talk over here on the side. What's going on? So, in Texas where I live, when there's a fist fight going on, you get your AR-15 and you defend the people from a fist fight, right? So, I saw a fist fight going on. Buddy, this is fighting. It's sanctioned fighting. We're good. I understand it. But these other people who keep coming up to me, if one more person comes up to me, I'm going to get my AR-15. How much are you weighing right now? Two... Uh, how tall? Six foot. I just gotta verify that real quick. You're six foot, exactly. All right, I'll okay, So you just got me to tell the truth, right? Yeah. And now I don't like you. Why is that? Because it's fucked up stuff, bro. You come in like, dude, I'm trying to help people, man, and you're trying to do this shit. You walk around with these fucking people and start mouthing off like this. I'm a nice guy. Why is that mouthing off, though? It's calling people out of shit that, dude, I've, I've never lied about anything. And coming here and doing this kind of uh, stuff. I'm never accusing of lying. Real quick. I want everyone to see this shit. Yeah, I'm different. I'm because not the nice these, guy in the industry, dude. Because these okay. people like catch me outside type of thing. Catch me outside. How about that? For asking Look, the way. Hey, put your shit and get out. Hey, hey, hey. hey bro, that shit. Okay, for sure. Awesome, thank you so much. We have another question from the audience. Hi, uh, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Julian. Julia. Hugo. Nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, so my question was, uh, how does it feel that the most view you ever gotten was uh, on Eric Knefsky's channel? Oh, this right here? Yeah, uh, that's uh, probably fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. him, right? Uh, yeah. You mean the most views I ever had was from the video that he threw up? Yeah, it was on Eric Konevsky's video. Yeah, yeah I, that, that's pretty cool. I, uh, you know, I, I, I remember him from a couple years ago. I got a little altercation. Uh, 
Uh, it's good to see you front row supporting me. That's all I care about, bro. For sure, for sure. So, uh... Oh, huh. I mean, so how What's long up? have you been doing this? Why are you doing it? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Can I ask a question? I've been learning so, Kung Fu since I was like a... Tell, tell him what it was like to shoot with Julian. Tell him about the experience. So you want me to talk about it? Yeah, yeah that, that, that's kind of his question. How did you take it off mute? Yeah. I don't think it is. I can show you some Kung Fu right here. Yeah, yeah, show us some Kung Fu. Oh, oh this is so cool. You guys, watch this. This is an exclusive at the San Diego Food Expo. <laughs> Have you seen my videos? What? Have you seen my videos? Of course. <laughs> Whoa. That was so awesome. Eric is a knockout as is, but look at this guy. So good. Loved it, dude. It was great. All right. So, Julie, quick question. When you go into the gym, there's aesthetics, there's performance. What do you go for? I mean, probably on You know, I think a lot of people go in their performance and they want to do uh... You gotta help this guy, man. No, no, he's great, man. He's amazing. Yeah, this is a wheelchair or something. When it comes to my training, did I just like to keep it about aesthetics and going after bodybuilding? Like, I want to be stronger, but with like training, it's like that comes with it, you know? I love this. This is performance art, man. This is great. Yeah. Sam, Sam, what about you? Tell us about it. performance or aesthetics. Can I ask my question? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So why'd you file the privacy complaint after he called me and apologized on the phone? Yeah. The, what I didn't like about it was, you know, I just didn't like how that whole thing was handled and everything. But, uh, you know, I'm actually not here to talk to him. We can talk to him and stuff, but his 30 minutes that I have here. No, no, I mean, he called me up to ask the question. No, I know. I, I I'm a big fan. Yeah. I'm your biggest fan, literally. You are big. You're right, yeah. You're a pretty big dude. I know, I agree with <laughs> exactly. that. It's just, uh, that was awesome. We're just not here today, man. I mean, I'm here with my wife and my team and everything, and, and we can do that some other time, dude. It's not my thing. Can you just answer the question? I said I didn't like how everything was going on with that whole thing. It's just, it's not my thing, and that's just what it is. I'm, I'm glad you're getting your video going and everything. We're just talking to these people, man. How about what about me? For Eric's performance. It was great. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. No, I'm a fan, too. I just said thanks, man. Yeah. I said you're my biggest. Right. So was that the answer? Because you didn't like how the one thing turned out? I think we took care of it, man. I, I want to talk to these guys. Why not me? You don't like me? Why don't, why don't you like me? I'm going to get my water bottle. Yeah. How many grams of protein? We'll stay later, man. I don't got chicken. How many grams of protein do you eat? They called you for that? Yeah. <laughs> Girlfriend had let them know about you prior. Are you serious? Yeah. I, I don't know what happened in LA. Something about LA. Show. So what's happening now? Yeah. Come on. We're done for the day. All right, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. I'm officially banned from all future Fit Expo events. That doesn't include other events like the Mr. Olympia, the Arnold Classic. So at the end of the day, it's no big deal. Now, is anybody surprised that I got banned? I don't think so. Am I surprised that I got banned? Obviously not. However, it's more so the reason that I got banned that doesn't really sit well with me. If I got banned after the prior MMA thing, okay, I get it. If I got banned after the much crazier shit that I planned to do later that day, which I didn't even get to do, I get it. But the reason that I got banned is because when I showed up to Julian Smith's Q&A, his wife, as soon as she saw me, immediately ran and told the expo director and called security. And apparently Julian and his wife are really tight with the expo director. So essentially that's the reason I got banned because Julian Smith didn't feel comfortable with me being there. So I'm banned from all these events now, essentially because Julian Smith doesn't want me there. So I say there's two ways to go about this. Obviously, Julian and I don't have any real beef. I don't have a real problem with him like I do somebody like Cassidy Campbell. So Julian, last time I uploaded the video that you so badly wanted me to take down, you had no 
no issue contacting me within hours. So I say that we talk man to man, we hash things out, we make beasts, you make things right with the expo director, and we can leave it at that. Or now you can give me an actual reason to have a real problem with you, and then we can have a not so friendly conversation the next time I see you, whether it's at the next Fit Expo, whether it's at another expo that you end up going to, whether maybe I decide to take a trip to Oregon, I don't know. So I'll just leave it at that. We can end this thing. I won't make you feel uncomfortable or we can continue your call. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. And today I just wanted to briefly chat with you guys a little bit about what went on at the expo I attended earlier today. So let me go ahead and put on my plus five head of speechcraft and let's talk about these. Now, this event was a complete disaster and reminded me of exactly why I chose to exclude myself from the fitness industry and from the public in general. I witnessed one of the most incredibly barbaric things I've ever seen in my life when I saw a bunch of young men fist fine in front of a crowd. So I did what any proper gentleman would do and offered to resolve the conflict by either paralyzing both participants or going to grab my AR-15. But instead, the entire crowd ended up turning on me. Excuse me for just one second, guys. Sorry about that. It appears that one of my internet stalkers broke into my house. Anyway, back to my story. As I was walking my vehicle to grab my AR-15, I saw none other than Eric Trunevsky walk right into the expo, at which point I decided to call my private jet from the FBI to take me back home to Houston, Texas, so that I could get back home on time to have my bison and milk. Anyway, guys, I hope this has been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time. You know, see, grab your blocks when you see blah. Call the cops when you see blah. Uh, who shot me but your pumps didn't finish. Now you're about to feel the wrath of a minute.